All right, so uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. You see, Lorena, first time ever. I'm on time now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I say, I say goodbye to my other students uh, early today. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm learning something, you know, I'm learning over here. Same as you, okay? So let me, you know, very quickly uh, close the other presentation that I had open and uh, start with you right now, okay? You know, as, as always, we have a lot of things to talk of this evening. And just to let you know that, you know, always keep on practicing on the platform. And for this week, you can go ahead and start working on lesson lesson four, I guess. So that's lesson four. And um, if you're already finished, you know, that's great. All right. So no problem over that. Okay. One sec. Let me just get a presentation over here. And All right. All right. All right. So as far as I remember, this is the last thing we did yesterday. Uh, I explained uh, briefly uh, the simple pressing questions and short answers. But of course, you know this already. Okay. So it's not the first time you have studied the. Uh, the simple present, and this is just a reminder. But I do remember that this is the last activity that you worked on yesterday. So you ask questions to one another about this, okay? This, uh, like music, movie, uh, movie, TV program. I remember, Lorena, that you said that you didn't, you don't have uh, yeah. a, a lot of free time. So actually, you don't really have a, a favorite TV program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. I mean, but sometimes we need to have some free time, okay, if possible. Yes. So before we go uh, and practice the next conversation that I have for you, which is, who's your favorite singer? Yeah, this one, I think you're going to say yes, Lorena. You may have a favorite singer, maybe in Spanish and English. So we don't know, right? So, and... Uh, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're gonna try to complete this this exercise, okay? But in a second, let me just one more moment. All right, so this is going to be the first thing you're gonna be working on, uh, this evening. And the second thing would be this conversation, all right? But first of all, as it's a tradition already, Let's talk about this, okay? The word of the night, December 1st. You know, Christmas is just around the corner, okay? And uh, my point is, if you don't go downtown or if you don't buy uh, locally in, your, in the markers, if you go to the, the uh, I don't know, to the shops and to the malls, if you buy clothes, you mean uh, los estrenos, you know, of, of this uh, holiday season, Sometimes it might cost an arm and a leg. Te puede costar un ojo de la cara. You know, cost an arm and a leg. All right? Unless... Um, yeah. Excuse me. We already have it. You already have it? Yeah, what the third one you said. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, I remember there's another one. Uh, to have the things that I have uh, so many... <laughs> expressions over here and let me just let's see if i can find the other one all right yeah i thought i had it share it with you but i have another one which is to have two left feet but let me share the screen with you because i have it over here all right the, to have two left feet over here the thing is that I got, I got this image from the same uh, place and I thought I, I 
hadn't show it to you. All right, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I'm not lying to you over here, so take a look. And uh, here we go. This one. Yeah, that's the one. As you can see, it has the same format as the other one, so I thought I, I shared with you the other one over there. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. So if you have two left feet, it means that you're just like the type of person who doesn't know how to dance, but Lorena, you told me yesterday that you really like dancing. So this is not you. <laughs> All right, you might have two right feet. <laughs> All right, but if you don't even dance, I don't know, cumbia, you know, with this move and you go like backwards and that's it. So you have two left feet, those PSC scared though, just like that, all right? And the, and the reason, uh, um, you know, I'm choosing this because it's also holiday season. And due to COVID-19, you gotta do your best to, I don't know, to celebrate at home. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the idea over there. So if you have two left feet, that means you cannot dance very well. Notice the following, I'm a terrible dancer. I have two left feet. And maybe your husband, your wife, your mom or your brother tells you, you shouldn't dance. You have two left feet. Yeah, that lastima. That, that's what they can tell you over there. <laughs> or that risa, you know, it ma you make me laugh. <laughs> in, in the best case scenario, in the mejor de los casos, in the best case scenario, they're gonna tell you, you make me laugh, you're funny, you know. <laughs> they can tell you that, all right? So let me just go back over here. Okay. And let me just go back to that presentation over here. All right. Okay. Um, so one more time, let me share the screen with you. Just one second over here. Here we go. All right, so right now we're gonna try to do this uh, all together, number one, and then I'm going to send you to a breaker room to practice the conversation. But first of all, I need to play the conversation with you. So remember, you're talking about the simple person, okay? Remember to conjugate the verbs. If you talk about he, she, and it, you're supposed to use the S at the end, like plays, watches, does, has, etc. all right? And it says, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. I like Kings of, of Leon or, or Lion, I don't know, a lot. And then you ask, do you know? And then we, we over here, we combine the, the yes, no questions with the other pronouns, okay? So I like Kings of, of, of Leon or Lion, I think. Uh, a lot. Do you know? Know. Uh huh. Do you know? In this case, I think because it, it's a band, is do you know them, right? Because it's the band, right? Over there, Kings of Leon. If it's if it's like I I, I like uh, I don't know Nirvana, you may say uh, I like Nirvana. Uh, do you do you know it, All right? Because it's just you know the name over there. Okay. Yes. I yes, I know. Yes, I do because it's a it's a it's a short answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you may say yes I do. And I love this song. Let's download. Uh-huh. And I love this and, song. Yeah, let's download it. Correct. So I like Kings of Leon a lot. Do you know them? Yes, yes, I do. And I love this song. Let's download it over there. Be careful, it's illegal, you know, if, if I say that. <laughs> okay, so that's the first thing you're gonna be working. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this conversation, all right? So you have this very famous uh, celebrity, Taylor Swift, and this guy, Jay-Z, all right? Is, is this... Uh, What's the name of this singer? Uh, husband? Uh, forgot the name actually. Beyonce, right? Is, is, is he Beyonce's husband? I'm not sure, right? Jeez, I'm not sure, by the way. Okay. 
So I'm going to play this conversation and then you're going to uh, listen to part B, which is listen to the rest of the conversation. Who's Brian's favorite group? Does Marisa like them? Remember that this is a conversation between Marisa and Brian. And then the question is, who's your favorite singer? So they're going to talk about who their favorite singer is. And then uh, you're going to listen to the rest of the conversation to find out who's Brian's favorite group. And if Marisa likes them over there. Okay. So just one second over here. I have a message on the chat over there. Okay. Nice. Let me uh, stop sharing this and just go back over here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get the listen for you. Minimize this. And yes, that's the one. Conversation part A. Mm -mm. No, it's not this one. Page 23. This is the one. All right, so let me know if you're able to listen to the conversation correctly, okay? It's loading right now. Page 25, exercise 8, conversation. An invitation. Mm -mm. Part A. Sorry. And practice. Yeah, I thought I have done, you know, done this one already. Sorry. Technical problems right now. Okay. You know, the thing is that in this listening, I have changed, you know, the format of everything due to copyright of uh, tense, as you can see over here. So it's sometimes a little bit difficult to find the, the right track. Okay. But here we go again. Page 23, exercise three, conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Right, yeah, that's Part one. A, listen and practice. You like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's listen to part B to find out who's Brian's favorite group and if Marisa likes them or not. Okay. So here we go. Page 23, exercise 3, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Who is Brian's favorite group? Does Marissa like them? What about groups, Brian? Who do you like? Oh, I like a lot of different groups. I guess my favorite group is Green Day. Green Day? Really? Why? Don't you like them? No, I don't. I guess they have some good songs, but they're very noisy. <laughs> okay. Nice. So my question is, who's Brian's favorite group? Green Day. Green. It's, green, it's Green Day. Yeah, I think it's a great group, by the way. It's a great band. And does she like them? <laughs> no. No, she doesn't. Yeah, and, and what, why, does, why does she think about, about Green Day? And what's the reason why she doesn't like them? Noisy. They're very noisy, right? Very right. nice. Yeah, you know, I don't think I don't think uh, Green Day uh, is very noisy. Okay, but anyways, here we go. So right now, let me send this uh, exercise, you know, to you, and then you have to complete the conversation. And after that, please practice the conversation. So you fill in the blanks, then you practice the conversation with your classmate, I mean, with your partner. And after that, you practice this conversation about who's your favorite singer, please. Okay. So let me create the uh, the rules over here. So just one second. Here we go. Okay. All right. So the rooms are open. As I'm speaking and sending the image to you of the uh, first exercise. Remember, complete that one plus who your who's your favorite singer. All right. Thank you. So one second over here.
I like it very much. Me gustan mucho. Las... ¿Qué opinas like tú, Arely? Yo creo que sería it. it. I like it. Mm. I like do. Sí. I like. I like it. It. Me gusta y en, mucho. El, en, el ejer, en el ejemplo que está arribita no dice I do. Yes, I do. Eh, ¿Dónde do dice I country? ¿En dónde, Alma? Perdón. Dice, en, en, en la like country music. En the grammar explanation. Ajá, en el drama. Entonces, no sería Yes, I do. Yeah, you can no, say pues that. Yes, I do. Mm. Yes, I like. I like it very much. Mm -hmm, I like it very much. Mm -hmm. uh, number three. Sub operas es like telenovelas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. Yes, sub, sub operas, yes. Yeah. Are Kevin and Emma like so operas? Does. No. All right, let me share the screen with you. I think it's better. You might look at my screen. All right. That's Kevin and Emma like so operas. But in this case, Frank, remember that in this case, it's Kevin and Emma. It's they. They. They, they can be and then like so for us. Okay. No, no, my point is if it's they, you use do. Do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do Kevin and Emma like so exactly. opera. Exactly, exactly. And then, and then they say Kevin. Oh. Kevin, Kevin not, but Emma. In, no, in this case, in this case, is Kevin does. Kevin does. Yes, because you Kevin may start positive. Yeah, Kevin does. Like when you marry, for example, the priest asks you, el, 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 el padre les pregunta, do you take fulanito, fulanita in, in, uh, in joy, so in alegría, so in sorrow, in, for in the better, in the worse? Okay. And then you say, I do. Okay. I do. I do. Right. Kevin does. Exactly. Exactly. Kevin, Kevin does. does. But, but Edma, Edma doesn't. Doesn't. Correct. Correct. But Emma doesn't. Just like that. That is a short response. That, like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frank, look at the grammar. It says, "Does he play the piano?" Yeah. Yes. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Just like that. It, okay. And why? Okay. Because because she. I'm sorry. Because she. She hates sub operas. She hates it, or, or she it. hates them. Mm -hmm. or she ha huh? hates. Hating sub operas. Or she, you can also, if it's pluralized uh, sub operas, you may say them. She hates them. La sodia, verdad? Mm -hmm. Las novelas. She hates them. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yes. What kind of music? It, of the pronouns it. You're, you're asking me right now. Excuse me. No. Right, so uh, did you finish already this one, the first exercise? Or you're still working on it? Mm. Uh, Arturo, did you finish already this and company? Um, Mr. Jimenez? No. No. All right. All right. So do you have any, any, I don't know, any doubts or any, uh, anything I can help you with? If I can help you? No. Okay. All right. No. Thank you, teacher. All right, so now if you, uh, could you please practice? I mean, and, and say, say the answers to me, please. Let's see, I don't know, maybe Arturo, you're gonna be student A, and maybe, I don't know, Roberto or Carla, you can be student B, all right? Okay. If you, if you want. So, uh, Arturo, could you start, please? And then, I don't know, maybe you, Carla, would you like to help? Okay. All right. All right, so Arturo, go ahead, please. 
Sam and Mark Estamos conversation. And who's your favorite singer? Do you like King? I like King. I like King of Leon a lot. All right. Oh, okay. I like him. I like him of Leon a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you know it? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. And I love this song. Let's download it. Let's download it. Let's download it. Download it. Let's, let's download, download it. it. Let's download okay. it. Correct. All right. Okay, so, so do you like do you like science fiction movies? Mm -hmm. Carla? Yes, I do. I like um oh my god, I like es, es, son las películas, acuerda si es plural es them, all right? Uh, I like movies. No, I like, I them. like it. I like them very much. I like them very much. I like them very much. Me gustan, you know, I like them. I like them very much. Yes, okay. because you're talking about fiction movies. Uh-huh. Let's see, Mr. Roberto Jimenez, can you help us with number three, please, uh, Don Roberto? Okay. All right. Do, does Kevin and... And in my light to so operas. Mm -hmm. You or Jose or er, er, me or you? Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. It is. Um, yeah, Arturo, go uh, ahead. Arturo. Uh, yes. Uh, Kevin. Kevin doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Emma. No, in that it would be the other way around. Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. Why? Because she hates. She hates. She hates them, right? O sea, no le gustan, le desagradan las novelas. Okay. So that's the point over there. But just one thing over here, Don Roberto, Mr. Roberto Jimenez. In here, you're talking about Kevin and Emma. It's plural. If it's plural, you have to use do. Do. Oh, see, do. yeah. See. Correct. Yes. So that's okay. why you said, do they okay. like soap operas? Do they like soap operas? Okay. O yo le pregunto. Okay. Do, do Arturo and Carla like soap operas? And I can tell you, Arturo does, but Edma doesn't. She hates them. Okay, or, or Carla Hayes. Yeah. Like that. All right, uh, let's practice the uh, conversation. This one, because the one that says, who's your favorite singer? Okay. Okay. Nos vamos tornando, si quieren, para los tres, a la tercera. Mm -hmm. um, do you like country music? All right, so Miss Lorena in... Fernando, I guess, is the one over here. Green does. Yes, Fernando. A question in the first one, do you say, I like, uh, I like King of Lion a lot. Do you know them? Do you say them, no? Yeah, because it's a band. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, because it's a band and it's people too, right? Okay, when, yes. when we say, do Kevin and Emma like soap operas, we mm -hmm. have to say, Kevin does. Yes, correct. Does. Correct. Green like, does. like in the United States, when uh, in a wedding, right? You have the bride and the and, and the broom over there, the, uh, and then the priest asks, "Do you take Mr. So and So? Do you take Fulanito de Tal uh, to love him in sorrow, in joy, in sickness, in health, etc.?" And then, and then they look at each other, right? It's like, did I, do I say yes or no? It, it, I do, they say, right? <laughs> yeah, or, okay. But in this, what if, what if the, the bride says, la novia says, uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah. They don't say yes, they say I do. 
Okay, so that is a sure response. Okay, like in this case, okay. Kevin does, Kevin does, but Edna doesn't. Why? She hates them, right? She hates soap operas. She hates. She hates, she hates them. opera. All right. Did you practice the second? She hates the opera. Yeah, we, she we hates them, right? Everything. Okay. Yeah, you practice everything more. Okay. Um, so in that case, I'm going to take advantage of the pronunciation over here very quickly. Uh, why don't you practice uh, Lorena being Marisa and then you Fernando being Brian? Okay, please. Okay. Will I continue to No, I don't like very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite singer? JV. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Now, in uh, take advantage of the link sounds or like the sounds to connect or to join, you know, more sounds, you know, that's a link sound over there. Like this one, so look at this. You know, like it very much, like this, like it very much. I'm like a big fan, I'm a, okay. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift, oh, fan of, okay. I think I, I think I, I think I, I know think. her, okay. And um, she's a, this one is natural, right? I she's a, she's a, real, she's a really, she's a, she's a, right? She's a, she's a, right? What kind of, this one you do it, you know, naturally. What kind of, what kind of music, right? And do you like him? Do you like him, Kim? Or you can say, do you like him? But it's more naturally to say, Lorena and Fernando, do you like him? Kim. Kim. Kim, yes. Kim. We, we erase this. Do you like him? Do you like him? Yes, like that. Do you like him? Yeah. Because if you say, uh, do you like him? It's like, mm, it's not natural. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to think too much. Do you like him? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're forcing it too much. Okay. Do you like him? Yes. Do you like him? Yes. Or do you like her? Uh huh. Just like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. So let's go back to the main station so we can continue. All right. Thanks. All right, so welcome home, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm just going to take advantage of, uh, of this uh, conversation to give you, I would say, some tips, okay, on pronunciation. And my point is to help you sound uh, naturally as possible, you know, as naturally as possible. So in this case, you say, uh, no, I don't like it very much. You know, I don't like it. Like it very much. Okay, you join the sound. In this one, you say, yes, I do. I'm a big fan. Ama, ama, ama. Como ama. <laughs> you see? But without that accent, you know. I'm a big fan of, fan of, fan of, fan of. All right, I think I, I think I, I think I, think, think I. I think I know her. Or you can also say, I think I know her. But it's better in this case to say, I know her, okay, know her. So it's good. I think I, all right? This one, Chisa, Chisa. She's a really good musician, right? Chisa, Chisa. And this one is what kind of music? What kind of, kind of, como Wakanda, right? Kind of, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> kind of. And then you say, uh, the last one, do you like him? But no, 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 it's better to say, do you like him? Do you like him? Kim, Kim. 
Do you like him? Te gusta o no te gusta? Do you like him or do you like her? Do you like her? All right, just like that. It's the same if you say, I like you, Q, I like you. Or when you say, I love you, view, it's the same thing. Okay, same thing. How do we call that? A link sound, unión de sonida. That's what we do over there. All right. So in your mind, you can start practicing. You know, I don't like you very much. Yes, I do. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a student. You know, I'm a teacher. I'm a doctor. You know, I'm a nurse. I'm a lawyer. You know, I'm a housewife, etc. I'm a stay-at-home dad, etc. I'm a, I'm a. Okay, I'm a. That's why. That's how you say. It. And nobody's gonna tell you that's incorrect because it's okay to say like that. Ama. Okay, or am. Um, right. Let's move on over here. I have another conversation, but we're going to skip this, you know, just for right now, because I really want you to practice your listening skills right now. Okay. So if you already completed the platform, you're going to be able to uh, relate, you know, this uh, to this uh, listening. It's who's my date. Okay. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda. I think this is Linda, you know, the brunette. On a date, what kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Okay, and then since we have three gentlemen, we have Bill, John, and Tony. So we have William, which is Bill. We have Anthony, Tony, and then John. Music, movies, and TV programs. So we have three categories. How many? Three categories. Como carago, right? Categories. All right. We don't say category. We say categories. All right. Oh, categories. Oh, Como carago, you know? Carago. Categories. Oh, right? Oh. Yeah. Trust me. Así me lo aprendí yo. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. All right. So music, movies, and TV programs. Bill, John, Tony, and Linda. If you trust your memory, don't do it, please. It's better if you take some notes, okay? So please take, take your notes, take some notes over there. So mm -hmm. who's my date? Maybe Linda is gonna choose Bill because they have the same music in common, right? Or maybe uh, she's gonna choose, a, I don't know, Tony, you see Tony looks very uh, confident, right? Over there. So maybe uh, they enjoy the same TV programs. We don't know yet. Okay, so let me just play this for a second. All right, I'm gonna be sharing the screen, so you may take notes in your notebook. So just scrabble, right? O sea, no tiene que ser un chart or something like that, so you don't have to. Uh, but at least take notes of the categories over there. All right. So just just one second over there. Let me get the listening. Hold on. Exercise seven. Okay. And uh, all right, found it. Page 25, exercise seven, listening. So where can, Who's yes. my date? Part A, listen to four people yes, yes. on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. <laughs> I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. Now, let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, 
I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? All right. All right, so do you have some details? Let's say, what about, what about beer? What kind of music and uh, movie or TV programs uh, does he like? Yes, Frank, go ahead. Only I have a question. The last TV program, uh, I don't listen. I think it was a top show and a, a game show. Game uh, okay. show, yes. Game show and top show. A, a top show, yes, a top show, yes. All right, so we have Bill, uh, John, and Tony. Let's see, who, who wants to help me with uh, Bill's information? For music, movies, and TV program, please. Like uh -huh. All right. So I didn't actually get the first part, eh, Lorena. So music he likes, you said. He likes classical music. Mm -hmm. Action movies. Yes. And yes. <laughs> yes. He's an old school guy, I think. But that's okay. That's okay. That's great. These days, nobody listens to classical music, and almost nobody, I would say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. What about John? You know, John is 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 a little bit shy, right? Don't you think so? A little bit shy, yeah. you know. Yes. All right. So who who wants to help me, please? Um, maybe uh, anybody else over here, please. Yes. Yeah, so music. Yes, music. Mm -hmm. Movies. Movies. Uh, can list. <laughs> Musical movie. Yeah, and top shows. And yeah, yeah. Top shows. correct. Musicals, right? He likes musical, like high school musical or <laughs> Disney some <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What about Tony? Tony is, is I would say, the, the rock and roll guy, right? Yes, right. She likes uh, rap music and horror movies and game shows. Yes, he said that, right? Talk show, right? Game show, right? Yes. All right. And what about Linda? You know, Linda is the one that actually needs to decide over here, which is the best date for her or the best match for her. So she likes what type of music? Pop music. Pop music. Pop music. She doesn't like a rap horror movies. She likes horror movies too. And top show. Top shows. All right. So do you think that? Do you think that John would be the best date, or maybe Bill, um, or, or Tony? Tony. All right. Tony. It might be Tony, right? Tony. Yeah, I think it's Tony, right? Tony yeah. Montana, right? Big... <laughs> <laughs> be careful, you know, he has a big scarf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, so, you know, I'm happy that you were able to understand this, you know, in no time, all right? So, just to finish, I'm going to move with the next grammar because we still have the time over here, all right? Before I uh, ask you to, to join the breaker rooms to, to practice a conversation over here. So the next grammar focus for tonight will be would plus the verb plus two plus a verb over there. It sounds complicated, but actually it's not. You know, it's actually a, a piece of cake, this one. So look at this, please. You ask or do you use this structure when you want to invite someone and you want to be polite? You know this already because you can ask, uh, can you go to the party? You don't say that. You say, would you, right? Would you like to go out on Friday? Okay. Or would you like to, uh, to drink a cup of coffee with me tomorrow, for example? Mm -hmm. Or would you like to go to a soccer game? You know, would, 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 right? Would. Mm -hmm. And you say, yes, mm -hmm. you can say just, yes, thanks. Or no, thanks. Just like that. I mean, no problem over there. So you can say yes, no problem. Or yes, no. But if it's grammar, you got to say yes, I would. You know, short answer. Or you can say yes, I'd love to. You know, I'd I love to. I now, you don't really have to pronounce this, you know, the I. You don't say I'd love you. I mean, I love to. No, 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 no. You just say 
I love to or I love to, just like that. Okay. And people will mm -hmm. understand you. Yeah, I love to. Thanks. Okay. This is actually uh, used when you want to be kind or polite. Get a third cortes. You say, yeah, I love to. Muchas gracias. Right. Or you see this part. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to a soccer match? You know, quiere ir a sol general a Vietnam? No, thanks, mm -hmm. you would say, right? Or you may say, yes, let's go, you know. So I like to, but I have to work late, right? I'd like to, or you can say, I'd love to, right? Me encantaría, me gustaría, right? I like to, but I need to save money. Yes, that's true. I'd love to, but I want to visit my parents, okay? So if you say no, you say, uh, yeah, I love to, but I don't have the time, you may say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yes, but, yes, I, I like to, but there's still COVID-19 around, you may say. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, right. All right, so, and this is the contraction, as you can see over here, you know, I'd, all right. When you speak, when you speak, you don't really have to say it, as, as I mentioned before, I'd love to, just say I love to or mm -hmm. I like to, just like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so, okay, let me help you with the, with the first one. So the first one, it says, respond to three invitations, then write three invitations for the, for the given responses over there. So I, I, if I ask you, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday, would you like to go? And you can say, you can say yeah. I love to, but, all right, I have to work. You may say that, right? Or, or actually, I don't have the time or something. Or I have to, I have a doctor's appointment, all right? I so you love gotta, to, eh? me encantaría, perdón. Me, exactly, yes, me encantaría. If you say, I like to, me gustaría, all right? And the question is, would you like to go? Quisieras, you know, right? Just like that. Um, so in this case, all right, I think on number four, you got to uh, make the question over here, the invitation, but then you have to respond over there. Okay. So that's where you're, that's where you're going to do right there. And besides that, uh, we are going to practice, a, you know, this, this conversation, this conversation have to do with the simple present, but I'm going to ask you to practice Another theme over here. Let's see. Yeah, we still have the time. All right. So uh, before I, I ask you to practice, you know, let's take a look at this conversation. And I think this is going to be the last activity of the night. All right. So let me play the listening mm -hmm. part A and then part B. You practice. Okay. And, and then I'm going to send you to the breaker room so you can practice uh, this conversation. You know, conversation one, two, three, and four, like you always do. You uh, fill in the blanks over here, and then you practice this conversation. With this, we say goodbye, okay? So just one second over here. Okay. One more, please. All right. Let me just get the listening out of this one. And this one is conversation number eight. All right, one second. Uh, all right. Page 25, Exercise 8, Conversation, An Invitation, Part A, Listen and Practice. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. All right. So gate means the entrance, right? But that big entrance, right? That's the gate. El portón, right? That's the gate over there. Okay, so listen to part B. And part B is asking, listen to Dave and Susan at the soccer match. Which team does each person like? 
So try to uh, take notes, please, on this one. So just one second. All right, here we go. All right, hold on. All right. Page 25, exercise eight, part B. Listen to Dave and Susan at the soccer match. Which team does each person like? Yes, that's another goal for the Ducks. That's the Ducks three, the Frog zero. You really are a Ducks fan, Dave. I know, they're my favorite team. They're okay, but I like the Frogs a lot better, especially Mario Sanchez. He is very talented. It's too bad he's not playing today. All right, so, uh, so Dave supports who? You know yeah, what? Uh, it's actually the other way around. So, you know, David or Dave supports the ducks. You yeah. see this shirt? Yeah, the ducks over there. <laughs> ducks, you know, <laughs> <the> patos. <laughs> and then, and so that means that Susan, sorry, Susan supports the frogs over there. So the frogs and the ducks, mm -hmm. all right? So let me open the breaker rooms right now. And what you're going to do, please. Uh, so there are two conversations you got to practice. So the first one would be this one, all right? I mean, actually, this for uh, short conversations. She says, uh, in conversation one, when does she get up? Conversation two is, uh, what does she do at the bike shop? Conversation three, what does she read? Conversation four, what sports does he play? Etc. All right, because we're talking about sports right now, so I think it's important to practice this. But right now, you're not gonna take the quiz, you know, this one. You're just gonna go straight to the uh, speaking practice. That's the first thing. The second thing would be this, okay? This part. You ask the invitation and then you respond or, or the other way around over there because that's, that's gonna be the second one. And number three will be this conversation. And with that, we finish and then we just go to sleep over there, hopefully, right? Okay, so let me open the, the rooms over here and very quickly so we don't waste more time right now. So just one second over here. There you go, so rooms are open, please join. I'm sending the image right away, please.
That's nice. Yeah, I like to read on my lunch break. Oh, why do you read? Uh, I read about story. Interesting. What do you do on the weekend? I play sport at the park. How how about you? I study at the library. All right. You love books. So, what sport do you play? I play soccer with my friends. Sounds fun. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, grammar I cannot hear you very well, Arturo. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is <laughs> I have a problem with this microphone. Um, um, I have a ticket to the baseball game on Saturday. Will Will you like to go? Uh, wait. Uh, yes, I will. Oh. Will you like to come over for dinner tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow night. Yes, I love. Uh, yes, I love to. Thanks. But uh. I love to. I love to. Oh, you mean, yes, yes. I, I love it. Oh, nice. No, but yes, I love. Uh, yes, I like to. But I study late. Yes, sir. Uh, would you like to go to a pop concert this weekend? Um, I like to, but I need to save money. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Buena <Yes>. zapada. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I fix and shell bikes. Sound farm. Conversation three. Okay. What do you do at lunch? I eat with my friends and you? I eat in the park. That's nice. Yeah, I like to read on my lunch break. Break. Oh. What do you do? What do you read? Mm -hmm. I read about this history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Uh, recuerda Alma. Interesting. Ah, perdón. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Sí. And in, in la primera is what about? What about? What about? Lo uno, okay. Ah, cuando comienza el demand, what about? What about? Mm -hmm. okay. Conversation four. four. Okay. What do, you do, what do you do on the weekend? I play sport at the park. How about you? I study in the library. 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 All right. You look box. So, what sport do you play? I play soccer with my friends. Some fun. It is. Yeah, it is actually, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. The second exercise would be the uh, uh, this grammar. Okay. So, respond to three invitations over there. Then write three invitations for the given responses. Like for example, you have, if I ask you, would you like to go to a pop concert with, with me this weekend? You can say, I'd love to, but um, if you don't wanna say, I don't like pop music, <laughs> you can say, I'm sorry, but uh, I need to save money. <laughs> I'd love to, right? Yeah, nice. I sent this information to the chat, so I got to go right now. So just one second. Thank you. Entonces, Alma, 
Your date. Repetimos. Sí, now your date. Ok. I have tickets to the soccer march on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay, I know. What time does it start? Does it start? 8 p.m. That's so great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I do like to, but I have to work late. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Around 7 around seven Okay, why don't we meet at the gate? That's fine. fine. See you there. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, now let, we're gonna do some extra practice over here on the grammar. Okay, like would you like to? I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you, Carla, and then Lorena the invitation, and then you tell me your response. Okay. It, you know, you can either say yes or no. You know, accept it or just deny. It. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one, I had tickets to the uh, soccer game Alianza versus Aguila this coming Saturday. Would you like to go with me, Lorena, or with my friends and family? I would like to, but I, I have an appointment. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get, you know, my, my teeth pulled out, you know, to, in the dentist. <laughs> yeah, me neither, you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, I think it's boring, you know, like watching, it's yeah. boring, that's what I think. I like to play, I like to play, you know, soccer, and I'm not good, you know, I'm average, I would say. But, you know, watching games... You know, even here, no, it's, it's boring. I don't watch Real Madrid or Barcelona, so I don't even know the, the name of the soccer player. So. Yeah. All right, so, Carla. The best. Okay. Yes. So, all right, so, would you like to come over for my dinner anniversary, you know, tomorrow night? Oh. Yeah, so my, everybody's going to be there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would like to, but I I need money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm gonna uh, say I'm gonna send a taxi to your house, Lorena. Hopefully. When can I All right. So, Lorena, for you, would you like to go to a? Um, you say you like, uh, what type of music you like, Ranchera. Would you like to go to a Vicente Fernandez concert? Yeah, I want to go, let's go. <laughs> yes, I love him, I would like him. Yeah, I me go too. Him. Yeah, me too. You know why? Because of my grandfather uh, who passed away. Yeah. He always listened to uh, Vicente Fernandez and every single day. So I know all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> And, <laughs> and and I have watched I have watched all the movies you know from Vicente Fernandez yes too yes <laughs> okay all right nice so let's go back to the main session it's time to say goodbye all right okay thank you teacher. All right, we're just gonna wait, you know, so everybody comes back over here. Okay, so just one sec, come over here. All right, just one. All right, so welcome home again. Uh, just to finish tonight's class or this, this evening class, I want you to uh, stop to think just for a second. You know, this is a reflection point. But in other words, it's a self-assessment, you know, una auto-evaluación. That's how you say it, self-assessment, 
Okay. So far, you've been talking about invitations, that yes, no questions, uh, talking about prices, buying things, etc. So is it time for you to reflect how much you know or how much you have learned from unit three or session, uh, uh, session three and session four in the platform and in class right now? So think about this. And if you have maybe your notebook or maybe your cell phone or just say yes or no over here, right? And obviously I'm not gonna ask you to raise your hand, right? You know, if you say yes, right? <laughs> so that's something else. So how well can you do these things? I can give and understand information about prices very well, okay, or a little. I can say what I like and dislike very well, okay, or just a little. I can explain what I like or dislike about something or maybe someone, right? Maybe very well, okay, or a little. I can describe and compare objects and possessions like using uh, possessive pronouns and also using object pronouns, etc. Very well, okay, and, and a little. And I can make and respond to invitations, you know, in a polite way. You say, I love to, but you know, I don't really have the time or I need to save money, etc. Okay, so if your answer was just a little on some of these points, I do invite you to go to the platform and to double check this information, all right? It's never late to learn, you know, and that's the reason why you're here. And with that, I, I gotta say goodbye. Hope to see you tomorrow, you know, same channel, same place, all right? See you, Bye. good night. So see Bye. you tomorrow, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. 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 everyone. Hi, everybody. Bye bye, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone.